Well, it's a huge problem. Blind people rely on the sound of vehicles to travel uh, safely. We certainly, as you can imagine, we can't see cars, so if we can't uh, hear cars, we're going to be hit by the car. At first, we were very skeptical that this was really a problem. But um, as we did our own tests and um, brought in these cars and uh, tried to see if we could hear them in time to avoid an accident, we discovered we could not. And that's when we started to bring this to the attention of uh, automobile manufacturers, to governments, and then eventually to the United Nations. The United States has done some analysis, and there is twice the likelihood of an accident under certain low-speed scenarios with these hybrid cars versus traditional internal combustion engine vehicles. We believe that the best solution is to add an artificial sound a, a, a small but safe level of sound so that sounds like a car traditionally has sound that's recognizable and um, provides the safety that we've always had with the sound of vehicles. You cannot find a golden, golden solution. You have to find a solution which is acceptable for manufacturers, for governments, and uh, the other participants uh, uh, like pedestrians. Nobody should be annoyed, and uh, the solution should be a big benefit for, um, for the pedestrians. It shouldn't increase the costs of a vehicle, and as I mentioned, should have no negative influence in the uh, environment, for the environment. I expect to have a short-term solution in February next year, which can be used uh, by industry, and a mid-term solution at the end of 2012, beginning of 2013.